about your boy Torres? First time ever in the state of Arkansas. First time in Fayetteville. First time on the University of Arkansas campus. I land. I did tweet out that I landed in Arkansas. I technically landed in Kansas City. Whatever. Bordering state. Sue me. Flights were cheap. I bring it up because I landed in the Midwest to find out that it, at the time, Arkansas was, quote, vetting Bobby Petrino to be their next offensive coordinator. And by the time I got to Fayetteville, it was official. I saw a guy on a motorcycle driving right up past me, right? Just beat me around the highway. It was Bobby Petrino right on that motorcycle back to Arkansas. That is right. This is one of the craziest college sports stories that I think I've ever seen. Bobby Petrino was the head coach at Arkansas, their most successful run maybe in the entire SEC. I'm not enough of an, uh, an Arkansas football historian. They got to the SEC in the early 90s. I think you can argue that Bobby Petrino's time there was as successful as anybody's. So I bring it up because he gets fired. We know why. He had a mistress. Da, 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 da. He gets caught on the motorcycle. And now, what is it? 12 years later, it all comes full circle, and he is back as Arkansas's football coach. Just an insane story. So let's dive in. One, let me say this. I actually love that we're at this place in the, in the history of college sports where we can just accept that college sports is what it is. It is essentially professionalized sports, you know, with dormitories. It's professionalized sports with a chemistry building down the street. Like we can pretend that most of the best programs at the highest levels in football, men's basketball, I'm sure baseball, they want to win at all costs. Okay. And obviously look, if a player, if a coach gets arrested, uh, you can't keep right. Chris Beard had to be fired at Texas. But if your coach or one of your star players is just doing something immorally wrong. Like 10 years ago, we had to pretend it was the biggest thing in the world. Like 10 years ago, we had to pretend, oh, Bobby Petrito is the worst person in the world for literally doing what a lot of other guys do. Now, I don't condone sleeping around on your wife, especially with one of your uh, subordinates in the building. That's not what I condone at all. But Bobby Petrino is not the worst person in the world because of infidelity. Hugh Freeze was not the worst person in the world for what he did. Rick Pitino was not the worst person in the world because Louisville paid Brian Bowen, the five-star recruit. Okay. Will Wade's not the worst person in the world because he said I dropped the, you know, strong ass off or whatever he said five, six years ago, Sean Miller, et cetera. And so there's varying degrees of who did what, but I love the fact that we're just at the point where it's like, dude, we're fans. We pay a lot of money. We just want to win. Who helps us win? And I have no problem with any of these guys coming back. I'm happy that St. John's basically just said, you know what? We're tired of losing. Go get Patino. He's in town. He wants to be there. I'm, I'm excited that Auburn has a real football coach, even if Hugh Freeze doesn't have a perfect background. And I'm excited about what Bobby Petrino can do at Arkansas because I believe, I don't know if he's the perfect person for this job, but I believe he's the right person for this job at this moment in time. Arkansas was awful on offense, okay? They had no identity. Uh, their best players are all leaving. And you needed to make a splash hire. And this indeed is a splash hire. And I think from the Arkansas perspective, and I think from the Bobby Petrino perspective, it's a perfect marriage. From the Bobby Petrino perspective, the one thing I can tell you, you talk to people, even here in Fayette, Sam Pittman is a hands-off head coach. Sam Pittman is a, I'm paying you to do a job, go do it. So Bobby Petrino, there's all sorts of, you know, we know what the narrative was at Texas A&M. Was Jimbo Fisher really letting Bobby Petrino call plays or was Bobby Petrino calling Jimbo Fisher's playbook, even if he was technically the offensive coordinator and play caller? I bring it up because he at Arkansas here, I say here because I'm here. At Arkansas, they're going to let him do his job. They're not going to fight him. They're not, you know, if you're good enough, if you're putting up points, we're hands off. From the Arkansas perspective, I also think it's perfect too. Because the one thing I could tell you is coming into town, I didn't know what the narrative was going to be. It seems universal that everybody's happy that Bobby Petrino is back because I don't think 90, I don't want to say 99. I think there was a percentage of the fan base that found Bobby Petrino's decision-making reprehensible. Did cheat on his wife? I'm not trying to undersell that. But I think the vast majority of Arkansas fans were like, yeah, he cheated on his wife, but this guy's winning a ton of football games. And you got to remember, it's easy to forget this now. Remember, Bobby Petrino, his final year at Arkansas, he went 11 and 2 as the head coach at Arkansas, 11 and 2, 2011. Their only losses 
were to LSU and Alabama who played in the national championship game that year. And so I bring it up because of the fact that I don't think most Arkansas fans ever wanted Bobby Petrino gone. And because of it, I think that they're happy that they're going to be, that he's back. Lastly, let me just say this. If I was Sam Pittman, I'd sort of be looking over my back because I'm not saying Bobby Petrino is coming back to get the job, but you start one and two, but that offense is humming. I wouldn't be surprised if Bobby Petrino, they just make him the head coach. So I'm not saying that that's what happens. You got to think though, in the back of his head though, Bobby Petrino was like, I could come back here and who knows this guy's on the hot seat. He needs the offensive coordinator. My team's putting up points and my offense putting up points. Maybe just maybe I end up with this job full time. Just something to think about. Uh, but Bobby Petrino back at Arkansas. I am so fired up. I think it's great for college sports that we're here and I'm excited to see how it all goes down.